Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Halo for an Hour. Today, for starters, we are checking out a game that definitely looks interesting. This is Pixels Digital Creatures, which is a Pokemon-like with a Vaporwave sort of theme. It is an early access, and I already can tell more on that in a bit. It does seem interesting so far, though. Uh, let's go ahead and just hop right into this, and I'll explain a few things. So, if you want to help out, do think about liking and subscribing, of course, if you haven't done so already. And if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach a partner over here, but we need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so, because it does make a big difference. Also, we have a Discord community if you want to check that out, and I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. All links are in the description, so check them out at your leisure. Also, expect this links, this little links collage to actually be up there with a new link because I will be planning on opening a merch store soon. Uh, rather reopening an old merch store I had a long time ago. But, with that being said, let's go ahead and start game as I explain a few things. <laughs> Firstly, the graphics are going to be low quality. I will explain why. It's probably not going to look that bad. But uh, we have three choices here at the beginning. We got Kit Hen, which is an attack focused with high damage and bleed. They also have a, uh, Fits of Spirit passive. So I'm guessing the Pokemon in this, or the Pixels rather, uh, as they are called, Pixels, have passives that they add to the team. So this one is 5% chance for moves to be used free. Batson over here, Speed Folks with Vasion and dodging as a focus. Their passive guarantees first strike for for the team. And we have Chompy, which is the one we're gonna pick for obvious reasons. Defense focus pixel that makes up for its slow speed of powerful attacks with an extra 5% HP to the team with its passive. So, big munch. Gotta pick this one. Now, I have complaints. First off, it's early access, so I think there's supposed to be like a story here, but it doesn't exist. We can click the beginning. So here's our hexagonal play area and again the, the resolution's a little low sorry about that just what i have to do uh let's look what this has mystic aline here who i guess is our guide says oof going through that portal sure is trippy i'm still feeling a little woozy by the way did you know that you can look around the map by moving your mouse to the edges of the screen sometimes it's nice to know what trials await you don't feel bad if you build to make it very far everybody starts somewhere i'll be waiting back at the hub good luck now I, I think this is like a round, like instant space battles or something. Maybe a roguelike design where it gets randomized. I'm not sure. Edges of the screen. It doesn't move very fast. Um, we're probably going to see some frame issues here and here and there. You started when I said to have good plates. The time you could be more perfect. Still, huh? Well, all the settings are down all the way. The only other thing I could possibly do. It's stuttering even when I lower all the settings. Okay, well, here and there. How is my voice stuttering of all things, though? Hey, hold on, let me try something. What happened? What now? What about now? Still stuttering? I just killed the sound for a second. Hmm. Alright, fine. So as I mess with a few more settings, there's really little I can do, but I can try tanking this even further. The whole stream collapses, and it's fine the moment I close the game, I assume? I'll put this in the video, I'm fine with this. Um, so it, it, it's fine once I close, the moment the game's closed, everything's fine, you can hear me fine? Right, then I will spend this moment explaining uh, what I've explained in other Halo for Nowers, please do listen. I know that the game's closed right now. It might be a little bit boring. I'm going to go see if I can fix this up. If I can, we're going to do a short stream if I, on this game if I can't. But basically, um, how to put this? Basically, this game is another one of those cases of an Unreal Engine game. Clearly, it's an early access. The developers are still working on it. Completely understandable. However, the Unreal Engine, while very, very powerful, it can make use, it can make some great stuff. I have played some really great Unreal Engine games. However, um, Unreal Engine is an engine that, by default, enables a game that is being developed, especially a game that is just getting started out, even, to have all the options turned on. We're talking maximum 
things like ambient occlusion, motion blur, uh, huge amounts of texture detail, moving foliage, foliage detail, draw distance, all of those settings all of those bells and whistles tend to be maxed out by Unreal Engine by default. It's very easy to, for a developer to make their game look stupendously pretty and dynamic and detailed, but it's a lot harder for a developer, especially a newer developer or somebody who's just starting on their game, to make their game optimized, to reduce those settings, or even to simply provide an options menu with a fair amount of tinkering you can do in it. I have played so many Unreal Engine games that do not have much of an options menu. For this game, for Pixels, if you go to the options menu, you can change the resolution. That is it. Just the resolution can be changed. Um, resolution and windowed and full screen. The actual other settings have to be accessed through a config file, which is predictably in the user's uh, username app data folders, which is where Unreal Engine puts this stuff. It is always available to be changed and lowered, but it's never provided as a default options menu feature. Unreal Engine's, uh, well, Unreal designed their Unreal Engine to be as pretty as possible for anybody trying to make a game, but they do not consider, they never consider compatibility. A developer can still make their game very compatible for uh, multiple people, for, you know, balancing performance, making it run well for many different types of computers and such, but... A developer has to go out of their way and also have enough experience to know how to enable this stuff to do so. In other words, if somebody is an amateur game developer using Unreal Engine, Unreal, they will not know how to make the game run well. They'll only know how to make the game run pretty because that's the only thing the Unreal Engine itself focuses on presenting to a new developer. So, in other words, Unreal Engine is good, but I fucking hate how it's, how it's focused and its design and its insistence goes. It encourages the developer to make their game pretty by enable all this stuff by default, and the developer has to go out of their way to worry about performance. Very stupid, very stupid design. Um, it's, a, it's technically a good engine for those skilled enough to use it and focus between quality and performance, but if you do not have that skill or if it, you know, like if you're a newer developer, well, guess what? It's going to be hard <laughs> to get the game running well. Anyways, let me kill the resolution more. Uh, let's see. What is the resolution below 12A720, but st that's still technically 16 by 9? Uh, that would be 800 by 600, I think. I think it's 800 by 600, the number I need. Uh, I can't remember. I think 800 by 600 has that ratio. Let me, let me see. Math is not my strong suit. Let me, so I can change these numbers on a file as well. But yes, uh, this is a video that's probably not going to be that interesting for gameplay, and I apologize. The thing is, actually, the game runs fine for me, but I've noticed that a lot of Unreal Engine games, I can still play them personally, but when it comes to streaming them, XSplit cannot pick up on that because the amount of performance usage is just too much at that point. My computer is better than my old computer. My previous computer was a lot, 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 lot worse than this one. But if we're dealing with a intensive, poorly optimized Unreal Engine game, both me writing it smoothly and recording it smoothly is a bit of a pipe dream at times. While you can blame my computer for not being more powerful, and I do intend to upgrade it eventually, I do not personally feel that it's necessarily my computer's fault that a game that should run well doesn't run well. Oh, nope, that wasn't the right resolution. What is it? Okay, somebody help me out. 12A by 720, what's the next one down? There is a resolution below that that is a standard resolution. I cannot remember it. I cannot remember what it is. Uh, help me math, and we can play the game. <laughs> I'm gonna see. Let's see. Is it 800 by? Well, not 800 by 450 is an option. That's that's one resolution we could do. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do 800 by 450. That sounds like fun. Uh, all right. Or. Actually, 1024 by 768. Yeah, I'll do. That sounds... I think that sounds like a number that works. I believe that's the resolution I was thinking of. Actually, no, that's what we were running on. Uh, you know what? There. 854 by 480? Yeah, sure. It, well, I don't know. What, what, is anybody here good at math? <laughs> 854 by 480, yeah, let's do that. 
Yeah, that's perfect. That's what I was looking for. Sorry for the low resolution in the sets, but literally, as you guys probably heard during the uh, intro, the moment we got a bunch of uh, 3D models loaded, I think that's when, right? The title screen was fine, but the moment we started loading the models, everything just kind of... Uh, as, as soon as the 3D effectively was being loaded. And with it, the 3D assets have effects like, you know, the ambient occlusion stuff. I've turned a lot of this stuff down to zero, but that doesn't necessarily turn off some stuff. Unfortunately, turning off certain things would require extra work that I'm frankly not willing to put up with because I'd have to do research to figure out what lines to add to the config file to, like, disable or enable certain things. Which is, uh... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Wait a minute. I think it has an upper limit. Yes, yes, it seems like it might have an upper limit. 854 by 480 was a good choice, but I think it actually can't go lower than 1024 768, so hopefully that's enough. Let's go back in. Oh my god, yeah, so I lowered the resolution quality. I wonder if we're still stuttering. Well, my model isn't stuttering. It's fine. This is actually realistic. I mean, we are playing, like, this middle-aged man, so he probably, like, lost his glasses, and now he's trying to get through this Pokemon universe. Now it's Pixels! I, it's fine. I just matched the art style of their name. They're called Pixels. So, yeah, look at what I've had to do here. Look what I've had to butcher. Look at this resolution. Look at this quality level. Look at the aspect ratio that I've had to achieve to get this thing to stop lagging. Unreal Engine. A good engine with a terrible interface. There's no game audio. Oh, yeah, that's right. Here, have some, have some game audio. That I could turn back on. I just had it off. Boom. There. <laughs> Anyways... This does effectively let us play it, to be fair. At least the UI looks nice. What are these buttons? Items. And switch? Okay. This looks like a pretty cool concept. Honestly, it almost feels like an art style. Almost. So what is what is Planet? <laughs> okay, Planet is, a, is resistant to ice, apparently. Ugo used Eat Pizza. I mean, I guess you could do that. It's still... It's still lagging a little bit. It is still lagging. Like, I'm, it's not smooth. Even now. Even for me. It's not even on your end. It's still not smooth. I see loading during attacks and stuff. What's this do? I see. So, I'm honest, I really do like the look of this, though. I mean, not maybe on this resolution so much. But, like, I'm going to simply comment that this does look like the developers are doing a good job. These models are very adorable. We, Before I lower the resolution a bunch, you could tell that, I'm sure. Oh, I can't. Am I out of energy? Okay, I might be. Yes. It costs four. Well, how much energy do I have? That's fine. Stutter bad. Wow, you're quite strong. What else do you have? Seems like you can use the help. Sure. You have pizza, so why not? Talk. Welcome by special market. Why is that in quotes? Are you looking for a good deal? You find it here. Oh, okay. Hmm. I've seen this being played, I think. It's a dang- it's a dang sh I think something's being cut off here, by the way. We're still stuttering. That's a- that's a shape. Oh wait, I can re- I can resize this. Interesting. <laughs> I can barely see what I'm looking at now. That's fine. I like how the UI attempts to work with what I've done. Flips. Tis a frog. Honestly, it does seem like a cool concept. But if we're stuttering so bad, my audio is glitching. 
So this is pretty much unplayable. If you're seeing the stream just fine, and so if some of you are still having issues, I legitimately recommend refreshing the stream. If some of you are and having issues and some of you aren't, then I would suggest a stream refresh. I mean, these models are great. Why is this a sheep with a martini? I mean, I have to admit it. It it, it really does seem like they've put a lot of work into this. Uh, technically speaking, it's just practically inaccessible. That's gonna kill me. So I just murder it. Oh no! I decided to just increase its attack. Works out. <laughs> Took a last sip. Martini is copyrighted. Really? Huh. So it looks like it just how much it use up while eating. Yeah, kind of. All right. I'll... Item replicator. I can I can kind of read it. Uh, I don't even kick it. Ow. Okay. <laughs> because I <laughs> should have expected that. Oh, a clinic. I bet there's a, a person I could talk to here, but I can't see them. Kill team. Nice. Well, that worked out. Oh, I didn't mean to leave, but alright. I was just trying to look at my team, but alright. Inner shop. Hey, look, there's a person. Okay, Lionel does have... Where did he, why did he not show up last time? So yeah, what I'm going to say is that the developers uh, of this definitely have... Wait, why is he full quality? I lowered the resolution scale, yet for Lytle's just like, fuck that shit, I'm full quality. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Can't reduce me. Yeah, I admit, it does seem interesting, but like, uh, it is a bit of a shame. <laughs> There is no ba greater gamble than playing an early access Unreal Engine game. I heavily encourage the devs if they bother to watch this video. Get that performance figured out. This thing runs like shit. Even with all the settings lowered, it runs poorly. Like, what is up with that? Clearly, there is a complete lack of optimization here. You may notice that even with all the settings lowered, though, like, look at all this grass moving back here. I still can't lower some settings, at least not easily. Um, very unnecessary. Or, not specifically unnecessary. It's okay that grass is moving, but it needs to be optimized, which Unreal Engine does not do by default. Ow! Also, what type is it? Pig nose? Sure, join the team. Mark, what is his face? Well, she seems pretty strong. He, she. That's an team you got there, says Assured Owl. Time to put it to the test. Why is he an Assured Owl? How assured is he? <laughs> I like our guy, by the way, in that image. I should have pointed this out before closing it, but our guy just does not look like he's at all impressed by anything. He's just kind of done. Okay, Lightning Renala. All right. Oh, fast, fast. Oh, look at that. Yeah, honestly, this the models and animation work are quite good. It's just, you know. Can't even look like an owl. I guess this is Elden Ring now. Look at that. Ice. Oh, it's a choppy. Okay. Ow. Okay. 
What does this do? Okay. Oh, recoiled them. Oh, this, this, Marty's cheap. Oh, okay, ran out. I can't use very much of it, though. I guess Ugo, then. Yeah, honestly, if you can tell even through this low resolution that this is really good animation work. Let's do the Meat Ray. What's that do? Chopping wants to chop some Meat, meat Ray? Okay, that lowers its attack. And its speed. Not bad, actually. More use of it, more cost. That is indeed how it works. That technique! I've never seen some of your battle style. Looks like I underestimated you. You did, I guess. Nice. Clinic! Does that cost money? I feel, I feel like it's free. Arena? Oh, okay. <laughs> Again, look at our guy's face. Just... He's about as done with what he's doing as I'm done with low-performance Unreal Engine games. <laughs> when you were part and I supported Mikochen in a time of need. What? Oh god, it's a <laughs> harem king. Gre great. Good shirt. Good, good shirt. When you were taking care of your kids, I was taking care of my wife who's in Game Harem Lord. I don't need to know that. While you were wasting your days working out, I worked out, I worked out my pixels to ultimate perfection. And now the eye is just trapped. The world is the only thing that matters. This, wait, the eye? Oh, that's what that was on the title screen. You were all unprepared except for me, for I studied my pixels. All right. <coughs> well, he has a cat. Oh God, he likes cat girls. We have learned many things we shouldn't have learned. Oh, that hurt a lot. Let's do it again. Yeah. It's like, sounds like a shotgun blast. Wow, get fucked, apparently. <laughs> Just shotgun blast the fucking cat. It's fine. He's also using lightning route and all that. Oh, that doesn't seem to light up with waifus. <laughs> I guess swap out the moves so you don't burn them out too fast. Does it actually... Oh yeah, every time you switch it actually... Okay. In that case, take a sip. Ow. Hi, Esler. So yeah, I will fully admit, like, yes. I have, I, I fully realized that yes, if I had a better computer, could I run this better? Absolutely. But that, should that be a bar of entry for a game this simple in style? No, no it shouldn't. And that's just the thing. You can always argue, get a better computer, which some people do, right? But, like, that should not be the requirement unless it makes actual sense. Like, obviously, if I'm using some fucking DOS computer, then yeah, I should get a better computer. <laughs> like, you know, this the optimization is important. It's important for people with good computers. If you have an optimized game, regardless of whether that optimization is required for your computer or not, if it's optimized, it runs better on your computer, takes up less processing power, and just generally taxes your computer less. That is good for any computer, regardless of the quality of it. Also, ow, I'm gonna eat pizza. That hurt a lot. Do eat pizza. Okay, you gotta use meat ray, okay. I'm just gonna counter what what he does. Stop meat raining me. My computer can run way more complex stuff than this if it's properly optimized. This area probably is less atrocious because of the lack of grass. Remember, the starting areas had filled had like filled areas, remember? I knew he was gonna eat pizza, I had a filly. So, I wanna point out. 
Uh, one thing I've learned with Unreal Engine in particular, if you have moving foliage, game over, man. Game over. Unless, of course... Dead. First step. Yeah, I've learned at this point that Unreal Engine... Uh, if, if a developer adds foliage, it will automatically move and sway and be really detailed, and that is the worst on performance. The absolute worst. Oh, I didn't do much. <laughs> Such aggressive pizza eating he does. Get him. That was actually kind of tricky. No, my pixels! That was just one fight. I got 300 bucks, though, at least. So I get a heal between rounds of the arena, right? Right? Wait. Oh, well. No, but I can step out to the clinic. I guess. Yo, that's a cool team you got there, my man. That one is, there is a rare one. Which one? Radio Shacker 89. Radio Shacker... Okay, that might be a copyright, too. <laughs> I don't know if you can just say Radio Shack. Also, Merle, thank you so much. There's us all fight for. Let's see what we got. That would beat up Frog. Oh, we got a new move. Telekinesis. What's that do? Ow. Well, a lot, apparently. Ow, that also did a lot. Dino, Dino, Dino Valor. Not a bad name for it. High guard. Hmm. See if I can get around this. Can I survive one attack? Yes. That's all that matter to me. Marty Martini is, f is a beast. Holy shit. Alice. Hello. I'm going to immediately telekinesis you because I'm probably dead. Alice, huh? Oh, they're a skater. Cat thing? The resolution makes it hard to tell. Yeah, honestly, this is cool. It's just held back by the Unreal Engine. Ah, high guard, I see. Okay, well, they're, they, they're an ice type, so freezing breath probably won't. Yeah, they're ice skaters, so it makes sense. Let's have to bite them. Man, my computer could run one day site day run day one cyberpunk, and there must have been many simple up and based games like that that would just kill it. Yeah, absolutely. I've seen some of them. We've seen some of them. You guys remember that one game? Well, at least I'm able to play this sort of. Remember that one game that was like a sun-based zombie survival, and I could barely play it, and we just had to cancel it. I really I, listen. I know those of you that are, are have watched Tyler for an hour for a while. I know for a fact. I'm sorry that I keep complaining. I apologize. That I keep ending up in these situations where I'm like complaining about Unreal Engine, but it's such a popular engine that is so poorly optimized that these issues come up so often. I don't want to get the, I don't want to pursue these issues, but when I pick up a game, it's not usually immediately obvious what engine it's using or how skilled the developer is at using it. So I just run into this a lot. It happens. It's a popular engine that doesn't provide a good bar of entry for people wanting to make an optimized video game. And at this point, I, like, can see all the signs. Uh, all the signs, like, oh, yeah, that's what's causing an issue. Like, for instance, are we stuttering less in the city here compared to the filled area? I assume we are. I'm doing pretty good, though. So, well, I'll tell you why the city is not lagging. There's no grass. There's no foliage in these environments, so there's nothing really moving. Way better stability. Simply by that, one stupid little detail being different. 
The one that just killed Twitch, and we could only see the title screen. Yeah, the one that just absolutely killed Twitch, which is not the first time that's happened, by the way. There's been other games that do that, too. Now, I've actually seen non-Unreal Engine games run like shit, too. I have seen this problem with Unity games, too, but it's Unreal Engine more often than not. That is the most common problem engine, <laughs> um, to put it quite simply. All right, final battle against gym leader Big Finger. <laughs> it's impressive me this far, however, I will not be defeated so easily. Once you face my Aline, you'll see the true power of a steward. A steward? Is that what a Pixels trader is called? A steward? Is that the term for it? The fuck? Mr. Smiley. I'm not sure I like this, but it... All right, um... I might burn. I feel like fire and sheep is not a good combination. Oh, that's no, fine. Did a lot of damage, though. Blaze days? Oh, no, that's not good. Let's shut this down. Do you think burn reduces my attack power? Uh, Alice, sheep's prefer ice. We're, we'll test that theory, I guess. No, they don't. <laughs> it was just normal damage, but uh, I should use telekinesis. I was debating. Merle, you are insane, and thank you. All we can do here is chop. Set. Okay. Oh. Oh, but I'm an ice type. How do you? I expected just to duke it out with basic damage, but uh, I'm frozen. Cool. Nice to play a Pokemon game where ice types can get frozen. Very fun. Actually, whenever he uses Frightening Gaze, it's effectively wasted a turn. It's already faster than me, so... Stop that. Actually, no, don't stop that. Keep doing that. I don't know if Ugo would have been better. Did Planet survive ice? I can't remember. Oh, hopefully Ugo can handle the last one. Well, there's Aline. Oh, tail slap? That doesn't sound- Ow! <laughs> oh, okay, that works! Oh, that works! I was like, do birds still hate ice? Yes, they do. <laughs> Unbelievable, ice! It's a great power, your pixels of you! Go forth and show those other stewards your power! Okay, cool. I know, so whether or not they're fainted doesn't really matter for leveling up. That's good. A new pixel! I'll link could now be a character throughout the visual world. I could still read that. The eye is watching, because I defeated the big finger. <laughs> Defeat the finger, work my way up to the eye. <laughs> new moves available. Oh, yeah? Oh, fine. Clinic. No, I wanna... Let me look at the new... Okay. Info. Still jaw. Can I, like, get info? Oh, I can, but it's slightly off-screen. What's that do? I think it's just damage. Uh, let's switch it out for... <coughs> yeah, there we go. Much better.
What does he have? Uh, something, something, damage, cosmic. All of his moves are technically cosmic, aren't they? Because they're all that same color, I noticed. 80 damage. A charged up blast. What if it has to take two turns? This is, wait, meat ray can turn them into meat? <laughs> Which allows their attack at speed? I imagine that's not the worst of their concerns. <laughs> you got turned into meat. What'd that do? Oh no, that sounds terrible. You just had your attack and defense lo uh, speed lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what if it can literally turn them into meat sometimes? <laughs> I'm just reorganize my moves a little bit. So telepathy is like a, it's a move that causes, also thank you very much for the level for heart train, guys. Uh, I, telepathy is more of a stun move, but it doesn't do much damage. Anyways, uh, I guess we're done here. I could buy some items. Um... Two of those. Virtualizer. Uh, message, a virtual machine. Davies in the step at the store, retreat pixel. No, I'm good. Uh, down here, what's this? Oh, it's another shop. Of course, this does lead us to grass, so expect more leg, but... Rude. Oh, bleed. Ow. Yeah, <laughs> you're... <laughs> Normal type Kiven. Oh, do I still get bleed damage? Rude. That lie is your favorite? Fair enough. Does that bleed persist? Oh, new moves. Polished wool. Transforms wool to hard material, increases defense. Okay. And stun ray. Non damage that applies paralyze. Oh, okay. I like that more than meat ray. Clinic? Oh, that already? Sure. I can barely tell where I'm going on the hexagon map because <laughs> of the resolution. That's a good line. Honestly, the models are good in this. This is, they need to work on their performance. I am not the only one that could be... Here's the thing. With the quality of my computer being above average, that means that there's going to be an awful lot of people that probably also experience a lot of problems. <laughs> I'm not alone here. Oh, it's another assured owl. Okay. Lino is probably a pixel you can use. I don't know. I do know that telekinesis will immediately delete this cat. <laughs> Ow! Why does it always manage to get the bleed? Rude. Probably because Deep Gash is like instantly just does that. I imagine it just does it automatically. Oh yeah, that's right, it's a traitor battle. Um You know, just keep telekinesis scene. That's fine. If it's just cats, keep telekinesis -ing. That's not a cat. Does does fighting what's the fighting psychic matchup here? Well, fighting did not do much to the psychic, so I assume Oh, it's actually okay. Ow, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch. To Ugo? I mean, what is fighting versus cosmic? What's that combination like? No idea, so let's just find out. The bleed wore off? Oh, okay, it can. Huh? Okay, well, turns out you cannot punch a planet effectively. But I also, but also, the, the punching is, is resistant to cosmic. Okay, that's a shame. Let's stun it then.
So nor so Punch does normal damage to Planet, but Planet can't really hurt Punch. Okay. How about just I guess normal damage versus fight is probably fine. Wow, holy shit, stop increasing your defense. Oh my god, he really did. That was my powerful attack. However, he at least does have the paralyze. Wow, Punch is also resistant to ice. <laughs> That's rude. Aliens are famously ineffective against martial artists. Oh. Also, hi there, Sojitsu. How you doing? This is annoying. He keeps raising the defense and it doesn't seem to have, like, limitation. Ow! Oh, I'm glad he didn't do that more often, honestly. It turns out fight is pretty good against a lot of things, and yeah, they're pretty resistant against a lot of things. At least you got 300 bucks. Uh, is that a town? That's not a town. Town's ahead, though. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, what's that do again? If the move goes first, cause them to recoil and tear. Uh, good. <laughs> Mr. Smiley's bad joke. Oh, that won't hurt. What? Oh, I see what you did. Okay, sure. I see what that is. That is, uh... Oh, good. I got the weird clown thing. Sure. I mean, uh, <laughs> look at this face! Yeah, that, that's a friendly face right there. Swagger, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's Swagger. Well, the more we get, the better, honestly. Gives us more options. There's another arena here. I think I skipped an arena before, actually. Once there's a ground at the end of this. Hey, mister, did you know there's a bunch of frogs in this world? Frogs are so cool, but nothing but beats flips. He's the coolest. If you lose, you have to dress as a frog. Promise? That's a weird rule. Alright, throw your frog out then. That's not a frog. So telepathy is a good lead-up move just to do a quick stun. Ow. Marty is a real beast, though. Flippy. Explode. Blinding fog. Okay. Huh. I shall sip to that. Hmm. Damn it! <laughs> I was wondering. Oh. Is it just Mirador? Yeah, they have uh, they have I'm weak animations too. The 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 pixels. Like when they're low health. Okay, can I get first dude? Oh no, I can't. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Stupid cats. <laughs> hey, you uh you know what? Let's do some Mr. Smiley. I don't know if I like his, his, him very much. His design scares me. Okay. Fire juggle. Fake out! You literally just stole a Pokemon move! That doesn't look like a fire juggle, but okay. Actually, what am I doing? Just. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Alright. Would you stop? <laughs> so this is also Pokemon, but that's true. Well, that's very cool. I'm glad you are resupped. <laughs> I've just kept good bleed over here. The cat was very annoying. Wait a minute, she didn't have a single frog! 
I love frogs, which is why I don't use the frog pixel at all. <laughs> all right, uh, devouring bites. I don't think I need to say I'm going to use that. In fact, let's put Choppy in front for a bit. Actually, Marty is just a good one to lead off with, though. There, I'll do that. I see what I did. It's not It's not going to... Hey, man, you haven't had a by chance. I sure could use some rest. Oh. Are you insomnia uns insomniac? <laughs> hey, man, do you have an Aline? I don't, except for I do. Okay, let's see. Start with telepathy. Oh, no, they're not going to... Oh, my fucking God. Actually, that is, again, like Pokemon, think thinking about it. Uh, I do believe birds beat up psychics? I can't remember, actually. It, might, it actually might be neutral. Hmm. Waltz of feathers. What are you doing? I already have status effect. Fuck you. Thanks for the attack increases. I'm dizzy, though, so I might kill myself. However, if I could survive that... Uh oh Oh, well, that's not too bad. That could be worse. Oh yeah, the dizzy wore off. Bite it, eat it. Oh yeah, I can. We can actually eat it too. <laughs> Which I will do. Devouring bite heals the user half the damage dealt. Actually, it doesn't sound that impressive thinking about it. But it doesn't do very much damage. The guy did actually see here, though. Oh, that was pretty good. Oof, that was good damage, though, because they've done all those attack increases. Do you think an attack increase will reset if I switch up? Oh, for fuck's sake, not another one. Damn it, they get first move. I'm not quite dead. Thanks to this devouring bite, I won't die. Yeah, that would have actually killed me otherwise. Um, I'm gonna hope they sharpen claws. Devour oh, that's right, okay. Uh, still draw. Yes, they did. Figure I get as much mileage out of this attack increase as I could. We wore off. Too bad it's too late. Uh, there's fake out. Ow. I mean, I could switch back to Marty. Let's just do Smiley, though. It's fine. <laughs> the normal type kitten, I don't... I feel like there may not be a way to... Uh, Super effective them, but there may not be a way to. <laughs> they fell asleep. Wow, two levels out of that. So the first city had a re I didn't do, which, granted, I was kind of weaker then, so maybe it was good I didn't do it. I have 104 whistles. What do that mean? Yeah, this is fun. I just wish it ran well. What's this? Burns the opponent, also increases use your attack. Okay, so it doesn't do damage. Double illusion. Use the speed to create illusions, granting and self evasion. Okay. What does Ugo get? Meter bullet. Powerful blast shot that also reduces opponent's defense. It's not really that powerful, to be honest with you, but okay. Uh, I think I'll save what I have. 
Also, eat pizza is apparently transform some random junk into pizza. You need to heal for 30% max health. Random ah junk pizza, my favorite. Chakra beam. Use power of the mind, lowers defense. Okay. Uh, I think I'll throw that on, probably. Yeah, but it's better than Mind Slap. It's basically more powerful, lowers their defense. I'll put that on. I get less uses, though, but I think it's fine. Well, actually... It's a hard decision to think about it. Now, I will leave it off for now. I'm a little concerned about... Right out of moves or something. All right, last battle. We'll fight Grandma now. The Elder. <laughs> us stewards have a responsibility to protect the coaches around us. Even though we're stuck in this world, we can still make the best of it, right? Oh, you want a battle? With my battle wisdom, you will see why I'm known as the Elder. <laughs> okay. That is the Elder. <laughs> VR grandma. Um, leave it telepathy? Cool. I haven't seen what hurts Psychic yet. Or actually, wait, one thing did. I don't remember what. I knew he was going to eat pizza. Not a big deal, though, because he basically didn't have that much health down. And now we'll tell Kinesis. Wishing Star. Oh god. <laughs> That's gonna be annoying. But once Ugo I guess Ugo has an even better Oh god, okay, well that that answers the question. What defeats sheep? Planets. I understand. Alright, uh have What's we what is planet weak to? We planet is weak to planet. That's all I remember. Stop that. You're gonna be really annoying to kill. Uh, let's see. Let's do bad jokes since it's more focused on healing. This is problematic. This is very problematic, actually. I think I'm gonna lose this one unless the other opponents are easier. Ah, oh, fuck, fuck's sake. The dizzy was supposed to dizzy him. Stop it! Be dizzy! Damn it! I mean, I'm probably dead. Yeah. Ensure it's dead. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Gark Mage. <laughs> um. Fake out! Wait! Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't fake out supposed to... At least in Pokemon, doesn't fake out... Attack first if somebody is using a damaging move? <laughs> And then interrupt that move. Is that how Fake Out works in Pokemon? If I'm correct? How does it work then? Sucker Punch is what I'm thinking of. Okay. Would you fucking stop? Holy fuck. <laughs> Kittens are fast. That's the annoying thing about them. I'm going to so die. Oh, thank God. <laughs> She's like, I just barely. Oh, what? Okay, never mind. Thought I would die in that hit. But apparently not. Only works at the start. Okay, I see. I'm gonna assume I need this. Unfortunately, it won't heal very much, but. Oh, it still healed a fair bit, actually. The fuck? Oh, Nalores? You're a crystal type. I don't know what that means. 
Please freeze. Oh, rocks. Okay, it's fine. Freeze! God, fuck! Well, it's doing okay damage, at least. What's that? Okay. Durable, that's what it is. Oh no! Well, Choppy has maintained fairly well here. Bath! Oh no! The scariest opponent, Bath. However, yeah, Grass doesn't like that. Okay. Excellent. Oh, doesn't also like steel, apparently, either. Oh, we're off, though. Don't care, fucking die. <laughs> fucking hell. I have not seen such strength. The eye is surely watching you. Could it be? Oh, don't mind me, I just something I remember hearing from Mystic Aline before. Where was I? Huh, it's time for you to get move on. The way you battle of your pixels. So like I have seen. Keep it up, but great things await. Oh, I got a lot of money. At a lot of levels, which makes sense. I unlocked Beth. That we could find Beth. So Beth is a rabbit that has a hungry plant, I guess. New moves. Well, it was a uh, cold weather product damage them and reducing their speed. Okay. Hmm. Honestly, freezing breath has been really useful. I think I'll just stay on that this setup here. It's gotten me some very quick victories. Quick trees, you could even say. Blaze days. No. Not that one. Did I learn another move? Maybe not. So this is actually pretty cool. I do like it, actually. It's just... Well, the obvious problem, you know? The performance. I'm actually gonna stop here. So let's look at the map. So I went... Man, it's so slow to move this. It's so slow to move the map. But I went from... So what about... I went quite a ways, actually. From the start over there. So that was the start. I'm trying to figure out, like, how big is this map? What, how does this work, you know? The text for Freezing Breath is literally Icy Wind's text. Oh, really? So, like, how big is this map? Like, are we trying to reach an end objective here? I guess so. Oh, that's interesting. So that's the eye over there. I guess that's the end objective, to reach the eye. That being said, I think I'm done for now. I feel like this one is one to watch, keep an eye on. I'm, I'm so glad I have this key, even if it's not running particularly well. So I'm guessing it's like one instance-based run. Yeah, it's, it's like a roguelike. It's a roguelike, effectively. Um, yeah, last time I said he visited, so it'll say progress. If I do want to check it out again. Very cool idea. And if you have this running at a good resolution, it uh, it looks really good, actually. I did test that. Um, it, But I could tell the performance is stuttery even without streaming it. Because when I was... Uh, when when I was just trying to play it by... Like, uh, like the, just how it runs for me, even when it wasn't starting for you guys. It was running smoother, which is normal enough. Xplit has trouble recording something if there's high-intensity program being used. Doesn't mean that high-intensity program is impossible for me to play usually but even with me alone checking it out i did notice yeah it's stuttering here and there it's clearly having some performance issues uh even without trying to stream it also i guess it died i i tried to go back to title screen and it didn't work it seems to be frozen i mean that really is the way to howl it out isn't it <laughs> a demonstration developers Developers, developers, developers. 
Your game is really you got to you got clearly the developers of this game. You guys have a good vision. You got a good vision. Look, here's what it says about the early access. Early and early access want to create the best experience possible. When you need help for players including you, please bear with mind if you have any issues. Let us know on the game discussion page. Well, there's a lot to say. Uh, UI 2D art is placeholder. That's fine. They have the, clearly they have talent. They are developing something that here that actually seems a lot of fun. Uh, but they cannot continue this project and continue to sell this project because it is for sale. Pretty sure about that. I'm pretty sure I didn't get an early access key. Let me double check that. I will double check my statement, but I'm pretty sure this one's already released. Yes, this one is already released for, yeah, oh, and they released it for 2279 CAD or basically about 20 USD. So this is about 20 bucks. Um, a lot of reviews here. And, uh, top, top reviews are negative. One review states, and I'm just going to read this one off by Satori. Game is very, very, very alpha. Weird game de design choices abound. Some of the most egregious ones include that there be no resist for status effects, combined with the AI having unlimited uses for moves while you don't. Uh, so uh, basically on, on the mechanical sense, there is some weird stuff. Uh, sometimes it'll sell upon a god combo and your entire team, with your entire team being wiped. Sounds like logical, yeah. Um... They didn't actually talk about performance, but talked about the actual gameplay having a real alpha experience, which is fair. I was noticing that a little bit here. It wasn't that bad for me. Uh, but, yes, game in terms of performance and bugs apparently is in a more playable state than it was on the 12th of July. This is more playable, performance-wise, than it apparently was back around 12th of July. So, yeah, I, I definitely gotta say, like, if this was being sold for, like, you know, honestly, with the early alpha state it's in, if this was being sold for, like, five bucks, I probably wouldn't complain as much. I would definitely say, like, you gotta fix this up more if you're gonna continue to sell this. But they're charging 20 bucks already for this. That is ridiculous. I could tell that they're gonna, I could tell that there's a lot of talent behind this. You can tell that from the models and the animations. Uh, there's clearly a lot of 3D modeling experience in this game, in, in the dev, dev team, but you can't charge $20 for a game this poorly optimized and need, still need mechanical balancing. That is ridiculous. Um, that I know it's not like 60 bucks, but like a like a full release AAA game or something, but that's ridiculous, especially for something that honestly probably won't run on a lot of people's computers, at least not very well. It, it does look really cool. It has a lot of potential, but they have over over dealt their hand too early they released this game too early and they released this game for too high a price very bad combination kind of creates bad faith i hope they fix this shit <laughs> because they need to and quick and ideally i would say they need to lower the price but i guess that's their prerogative a good ex a potentially good experience that's not there yet and is being handled poorly in the business side of things We'll see where this game goes later. Hopefully they pick it up, but I also can see this one getting very bad reception with its current state. But that was Pixels Digital Creatures.